Welcome back to the Ultimate Mixdown. In this video, I wanted to show you a quick tip when working with takes. So when you record the same section over and over again on one track, or you have it in loop mode and you're recording over and over and you create multiple takes, you wanna be able to delete the ones that you don't need. You wanna limit it to a certain number of takes that you can find the best composition. So when you're going to delete takes, first thing you wanna do is make sure that you show all takes when room. So you can click that option, or you can press Command L on a Mac or Control L on a PC. And that will show you all the takes that you had recorded versus the most recent one or the selected one. And then if you wanna go and delete a take, you can't just select the take like I have in the second take here and click delete because that will delete the entire media item. But there is an action that we can use. So to get to the actions list, press shift question mark, and then search for take, delete, and there's this delete active take from items action. And then I added the shortcut X to it. And you can do that by clicking add, pressing a key, and then clicking okay. Just be sure you're not overriding your shortcuts unless you absolutely want to use that shortcut for this action. So now I can go in and I can select a take and I can press X and that will get rid of the take, but it still leaves the empty take item. So one thing I can do about that is going to options, take behavior, and then unchecking this display empty takes. And for many people that might be good enough, but for me, I don't like the idea that there are empty takes out there that aren't being utilized. So I'm gonna go and put that back on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new action, a custom action, that takes that delete active take action, but also couples it with deleting empty takes. So to do that, again, go shift question mark, brings up the actions, and then you can do new action, new custom action. All right, we'll give, we'll give the action a name, and this is gonna be delete and remove take. And then what we wanna do here is we wanna filter on the actions that we want to be associated to this action name. So the first one is delete active takes. So I searched take, delete, and I found delete active take from items. So we're gonna click and drag that over. Now the next thing is remove all empty takes. So now when I use this one action that we're creating, delete and remove takes, it's gonna delete the active take from the item, and then it's gonna remove all empty takes all at once. So I'll click okay. Now I'm gonna give this my shortcut Okay, so I'll click add and I'll put the X shortcut here. Here's the warning saying that it's already being used. I'd rather map that key command to this action. So I'll click okay. And then when I close and I go and I select the take and I press X, it's going to delete the take that I had highlighted and remove all empty items. So let's go over to this one. We have three takes here. If I press X, it removed the middle take, it left the top and bottom, and it also cleared out that empty item. So now I can go in I can record multiple takes for any part, say the vocals, and if I recorded five times for a section of the song on the vocals, and I know for sure two of those times I just absolutely butchered it, I can go in, I can press X, delete those takes, and then I can focus on finding the best recordings or the best audio that I have on the three takes that actually sound good. I hope this helped you out. Stick around for more quick tips and tricks.